welcome to the kitchen at the Blue OK. Today we're making salad dressings and I want to show you for this round my balsamic vinaigrette. And actually I shouldn't call this my balsamic vinaigrette. I learned this from my friend Christy and she I, I changed it a little bit to make it to make it uh, raw to not use sugar. Her original recipe calls for a little bit of brown sugar or, or uh, cane sugar but I'm using maple syrup or you can use honey or agave nectar to make yours a little bit sweet. But I love this salad dressing because it uses five ingredients, I think it's five, five ingredients um, that are very well balanced. So you really get a lot of flavor, a very well balanced salad dressing. And so uh, my variation on Christie's balsamic vinaigrette. And what you do for that is take balsamic vinegar, got about a quarter cup of it there, put it in a bowl with a little bit of um, garlic, and I should say, I think for her recipe, she puts it all in a jar and just shakes it. I like to whisk my, my dressings uh, personally, but a jar would work th for the same purpose. I just don't like to blend them because it actually it pulverizes or, or kind of cremates the garlic and uh, it combines differently than, um, than it does when you mix it, when you whisk it. So a little bit of stone ground mustard and a little bit of either maple or agave or honey, something to make it sweet. And this combination of flavors, when you add the olive oil to it, uh, is very well balanced and completely delicious. So you've got your garlic, your mustard, your balsamic vinegar in there, and you're just going to, and your sweetener, uh, your maple syrup or your, your agave, your balsamic mustard and garlic, and you're just going to slowly start to whisk in your olive oil. And what you're looking for is for it to combine. You don't want the olive oil sitting on top and the vinegar sitting on the bottom. So you're just whisking until it saponifies or combines. So you can keep slowly adding the olive oil as you start to see it come together. The rest of the olive oil. And it should be a you know, deep, you know, deep brown color. Uh, from the balsamic vinegar and some people don't care to use balsamic vinegar because um, it's, a little, it's heated in the process, it's not completely raw and so I also want to show you a variation using apple cider vinegar which is some people's preference in raw food because it actually has the, um, the mother uh, enzyme in it so that when you, when you take the balsamic vinegar or the apple cider vinegar it keeps going from the, from the same mother culture and it gives you enzymes to digest the vinegar. So it's a, it's a living vinegar, um, which is very nice to use in raw food. So the first version is a classic balsamic vinegar, and that's about the, how, how I like it to be combined there. You can see they've, they've come together, the olive oil and the, the vinegar, and I'm just going to taste it to make sure everything's combined correctly, and then I want to show you that variation too. A classic. Always delicious. This this dressing comes out wonderful every time. So you really can't go wrong with it. You can also use it as a marinade for anything that you would that you would use balsamic and garlic with. So that's the first version of it. It's again one of my absolute favorites. But if you wanted to make it without the balsamic vinegar, I'm just going to show you really quick. Take a little bit of apple cider vinegar. And what I would do then is add some dates, some soaked dates and a couple of raisins to a blender with, actually I'll do the honey second. So first you're just going to mix that together. Okay, once you have your apple cider vinegar combined with the dates, you'll see it changes the consistency. It makes it a little bit thicker and it also gives a little more depth of flavor to the apple cider vinegar, which is sort of what everybody loves about the balsamic vinegar. It just has this oaky, grape-like flavor from, from the way it's aged in, in wine barrels like wine. So you kind of mix it with the date, and I usually add a little bit of honey to this recipe, and it just kind of deepens the flavor of the tangy apple cider vinegar and brings it closer to what people tend to love about the, the balsamic vinegar. So that with a little bit of garlic and olive oil and the same little bit of mustard mixed together is going to give you basically uh, the same or a very similar dressing to what we just made only using the apple cider vinegar 
instead. So you would just do the same thing, starting to whisk that together. And once you have the consistency you like, it'll be a slightly different color, which some people also like. There are people who, who don't like to put a dark dressing on their, on their greens. So you'd get a lighter color dressing and it's equally delicious in my opinion and um, completely raw for those of you who really want to make sure that you're eating vinegars and all ingredients that are living and digestible. So there's that version of it and I'm just looking for a spoon to taste it with. Very nice. So two more vinaigrettes to add to the collection. Please see all of the dressings that we're making today. There's there's um, a couple creamy ones with tahini and then a lemon vinaigrette to look at also. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them here on the website. And remember, the eating gorilla comes in peace.